So your kid wants to be a marine biologist or a mermaid or a merman or a dolphin. Any one of those, this video is for you. Welcome back everybody. It is Mother's Day weekend and it got me thinking about my incredible mother and her incredible contribution that she made to my career as a marine biologist. And I thought I should just do a quick little video for mom. So mama, this video is for you, but it's also for any parent out there who has a child like me, who is super eager and interested in becoming a marine biologist, but didn't really know how to do that. So both of my parents were incredibly important in my career and in my uh, journey towards becoming a marine biologist. My mom was very important in two particular cases where she helped introduce me and expose me to something that really did change the course of my career and of my outlook and of my life. And the first one was that she took me surfing in California. And this was really one of my first immersive experience in the ocean. And it was at that surf camp that we went to in California that I met an oceanographer. And I was like, there are people that this is their job. Oh my goodness. And it was really an eye opening moment for me because at that point from landlocked Canada, I didn't have exposure to people who had jobs with the ocean and I didn't really think that they existed. I thought that you could just love the ocean, but that was kind of where it stopped. But there are jobs out there, real jobs, marine biology jobs. Your child could take one of those amazing jobs and this video is to help clarify that for you. The other thing that my mom exposed me to was an aquarium on the far west coast of Vancouver Island and uh, at that point it had just opened up in the town that she lived in and I was moving in with her for the summer and I said, you know, what's what's the story? What's going on in town? And she was like, actually there's this aquarium that just opened up. I should take you there. And uh, so we, I, we walked in together. We had this amazing tour. I And at the very end, my mom, it was my mom who said, do you guys need any volunteers? And that question really did change the course of my life. I'm not joking because that day, not only did I meet my husband, my future husband, I then met my future mentor who would I would go on to start aquariums with and start a business to help other people start aquariums as well. And not only that, but I fell in love with this concept of my own Venn diagram. I've talked about this in other videos where you take the two things that you take your love for the oceans and you pair it up with the thing that you're good at. And for me, I love the oceans and I also liked talking. I really loved education. And so this was my chance to kind of bring those two things together. And so, you know, ocean education in a, in a public speaking uh, platform, I was like, this is the best. This is exactly where I belong. And it was monumental for me. So that day was pretty major. Thanks mom for bringing me to that aquarium. It changed my life. So parents can have a really big influence on a kid's future career. So I wanna caveat this first as we go any further that I don't myself have any children. So you guys are the experts of your own children. I'm not a parental guidance counselor or anything like that. I'm just here knowing from as somebody who had parents who were very encouraging of my career in marine biology. I'm just here to share uh, the things that seem to work for me. And so I have a couple tips. There are three E's I've come up with. So the first one is encourage. Encourage your child wherever you can. For me personally, just simply saying to my parents, hey, I wanna become a marine biologist and them not saying, mm, that's not really a good idea. Like, what is your job gonna be? How much money will you make? Asking me those types of questions was not what I was met with. Instead, I was met with, cool, like, tell me more about that. What would you wanna explore? What kind of, um, you know, what is it that interests you about that? I think that was simply all I really needed at that time was just simply not hearing a no. And beyond that, I was free to continue exploring the idea. Um, I've made other videos about how to become a marine biologist. The first video in my 10 part series explores this idea of coming up with your own Venn diagram. So in this case, I'm suggesting that your child looks into how they can come up with their own Venn diagram. And that there allows you to kind of hone in a bit further on like what a marine biologist is because the field is so vast. Um, I can tell you that every animal, every ecosystem from the tiniest bit of plankton uh, to the satellites that take pictures of the global oceans from space, there is a scientist or a person whose job that is to do that or look into that or explore that or to study that or to explain that or to draw that in order to, to uh, share the messagings and communication materials needed for, for that or to compute that. Uh, all of these types of jobs are very big broad and vast. And for that reason, it can be a minefield for any student looking to get into this field to say, where do I fit in? What job might I be good at? And how can I apply my interest in the oceans to a job that might be well-paying or that might kind of make me feel fulfilled? 
Granted, that's a tough question. There's lots of options out there. And for that reason, finding a Venn diagram that kind of seemed to overlap your two key interests might be a way to hone down and help your, your child determine what area they might be most interested in. Okay, E number two is exposure. So again, like I said, my mother helped expose me to the ocean, to aquariums, to different people around our region in order to help me understand what a marine biologist is and was. For example, getting a zoo or aquarium pass, going to different marine parks or tide pooling uh, are all great ways. Surfing, exposure to the water. So snorkeling and diving are other great ways and you don't necessarily have to be near an ocean for that, just as long as you have a body of water. Summer camps, magazine subscriptions, books from the library, videos and film, all of those types of things you can help expose your child to. And again, discuss if they're of interest and see if they land with your child. The third E would be all around experience, actually helping your child get experience in marine biology. And I know this might seem strange, except for, especially when I was growing up in Ontario, it was pretty hard for me to get experience in marine biology. But again, family trips might be one way, job shadowing, mentorship, camps and clubs, volunteering, even uh, internships and job opportunities could be really great ways for them to get experience in the field of biology. Even if it's not marine biology, it could just be biology in general or science, but anywhere that there can be an opportunity for some kind of experience in and on the water or with an expert is really fantastic and will definitely help be maybe that pivotal moment for your child as well. So these are just a couple ideas and suggestions for how to support your child if they're interested in becoming a marine biologist. Again, the reason I make these videos is because I really do think that the more students we have who are committed to their dream of becoming a marine biologist, we will make a better planet for ourselves in the future. And it is so critical that we have a funnel, a, a new wave of students coming into, uh, into the post-secondary school system who are focused on marine biology and who eventually will get careers in that field because our oceans need our help right now. I hugely support every effort you make as a parent to support your child in whatever it is that they're looking to become in their lives. And I just wanna say that again, I am the product uh, of parents who did that for me. So a big thank you and deep respect and gratitude to all the parents out there who have children. Feel free to contact me at the information below. Uh, please also encourage your child to watch my other videos. Let them know Marine Biology Mel is here for them. Again, big happy Mother's Day to my mother and all the mothers out there. Thank you to all the parents who are encouraging their child to become a marine biologist and um, big love to both my mom and my dad for all your help. Love you guys. Thanks everyone.